Today, I'm going to look like Dora the Explorer. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up? So today we're going to be doing a wig by my first wig. They are owned by RPGshow.com, but this website is for those who are wig beginners. I mean, like, you really ain't got to be a beginner. You could get some wigs off there, girl, if you like, you know what I'm saying, expert too, okay? The lace on their wigs be like bomb as hell. Like, seriously, they will melt in your skin okay make sure you check them out they have been around for quite some times and like i said they are sister company to rpgshow.com but this one here is my first wig okay i got another bob wig this time it's with a bang on the website it does state it's 13 inches you know normally you get like even inches so this one states 13 inches and i'm pretty sure it's not like a mistake virgin malaysian hair and like i said it has a bang so the good thing about having a bang is you can have it or you don't have to have it like you know you could brush it back or if you're not really that great with bleaching knots then you can just leave it as is especially if you're going to wear the wig as a bang with the bang all the time then you don't really have to do anything and i didn't do anything i'll show you what you get in your package first so the first thing you get is you know you get your wig and it comes in one of these bags we're also going to get some um hair care products which is really good because like i said these are for first time beginners protective styles for wig beginners if you're really new to wigs and you don't have like all the essential little tools they will send you some things that'll get you started so you'll also get some hair conditioner so you will need that when you decide to wash your wig girl you'll also get a wig stand which i forgot to include in this video you'll also get one of these little bags which you can carry anything in well you're not gonna carry anything in but you know you can carry what will fit in here so what's in here is actually a wig comb some hair clips an elastic band so that way if you want your wig super duper tight girl you got it some bobby pins because sometimes we need those and a hair care you know product brochure or pamphlet and then also you'll get some of their infamous wig tamer which is great for flyaways i love this this stuff works really good for pressing the hair too with a hot comb especially if you have like kinky straight or yakky hair girl get you some of this you can also buy this from their website if you don't have any so i really do like that wig tamer like i have my own luster slick stick but it's a little bit thicker it doesn't melt as easy as theirs so i do prefer you know my first wigs or rpg shows they they both have uh, their swiss lace and it's darn near very very, very see-through. So like I said, they have some really good lace and it also has the combs right here. And I know you guys see this adjustable strap, which is already sewn on for you guys. These ones are really good because these are the ones that have like the hooks in the back, like you would see on like your bras and you can adjust the size. So I'm going to just put mine to the tightest because I like a good wig headache. Like seriously, I love a good wig headache. And then in the back, you have your adjustable strap and the comb and the cap is stretchable, but you get 13 by six inches of parting space. So if you're wanting something that has like a whole lot of parting space, but you don't want to purchase a full lace, then you can get these 13 by six lengths. 13 by 6 inch lace fronts. These work really good. So the hair texture is like silky. I, said, I didn't bleach the knots on it. And to be honest, they're really not that bad because I'm going to just put it on as a bang. You know, today I'm going to look like Dora the Explorer. So let's get into this wig real quick. Oh.
So this one was like dumb easy to put on. Like, you know, I did have to bump out some of the like, you know, folds in the wig and stuff like that. But look, I did hairspray down only in this part right here. I didn't even do this side because let me tell y'all. For some reason, I always have to have like one of my ears like showing. I'm not really sure why or like my hair pulled behind my ear. I think it's because I really don't like too much hair on my face because I just get hot. You know, I can barely see. But normally I would cut the bangs and just to make them form like above my brows. But it gives me like a totally different look. So I thought that I would just leave them as is because I'm not that great at cutting bangs, especially on myself. So I thought I would leave it as is. And definitely if it's too long, you could just pull the wig back a little bit that's what I did but it still fits nice the lace is not bad at all it's cute it's 13 inches and it's really flowy like you know what I'm saying the hair is super soft so it just flows really easy so I like that and normally I don't really do great with styling straight bobs but I think I have got the knack for it now like I've done enough of them so I'm pretty sure that I did a good job I just don't like them to curl inwards I just don't like that at all. I can't say that I dislike them anymore because I do have a couple that I wear. So I think like they they have wore me down and I think it has to do with the hair texture and the density. Like it really does. Like I think that's what it is. So i am gotten used to bobs. I'm not going to say I dislike them. I'm not going to say they're my favorite, but I will say they are really like versatile hairstyles. You can just do anything with them. So. Definitely check out my first wig. I will post all the information and the link to this wig down below. There will also be coupon codes like always. And as always, I love you guys. Stay diva and diva delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up. And on that note, I'll see you guys in another video.